Alright everyone, it's time to get real and raw in this video, and I'm meaning that by really telling you guys how we're doing. We've just moved a few months ago from a very rural, beautiful countryside in Germany to a metropolis part of Tokyo here in Japan, and there's a lot that's been on our mind and we feel like we really want to give a good update now that we're a few months in and now we're finally able to start putting together a lot of our current feelings on our situation. But first, an update for those who are just joining us. We're an American family who lived in Germany for two and a half years. We moved to Japan here with my job with the US government and we're expected to be here for just a few more years. Once we moved here at the beginning of December, we were really given a few weeks to just kind of get settled down. We enjoyed a slower Christmas and New Year's holiday, exploring some local temples and local activities around. Shortly after, we were able to go to see the snow monkeys in the north, get to experience our first little bit of snow here in Japan, and then shortly after, we were able to go to Taiwan, where we explored the Lantern Festival, some tea fields, had an amazing time. And then more recently, we've been able to finish out with doing some more local trips here in Japan. Even though we've had an amazing time, there are still some things that we want to share with you. Okay, I'm trying to find the best place to record this, and it's truly just not going to happen without background noise. So I just want to chat with you guys and be real. And I've got to say, I'm feeling a little bit emotional, so hopefully I can get through this. Tanner just gave the recap of everything that we've been doing here in Japan. It's been such a whirlwind, and there's just been so many emotions. At this point, we're like four months in, and I just, I guess I thought that we'd be a little more settled than we are. Obviously, moving from rural Germany to metropolis Japan is a huge move. We knew that. We knew it was going to be a lot, and so it's not like what I'm feeling comes at a big surprise. It's just like the timing of it. Prior to coming here, I assumed that Willow would be in her Japanese school or international school, whatever she was going to be in. We wish she could be in a German school. However, there is not one within an hour radius of us and it's just too far. Anyways, I thought she was gonna be in school by like January. I thought we'll have like one month break. It'll be so fun, like celebrate the holidays, just get to like soak Willa in more, have more time with her. But here we are <laughs> in April and she's just about to start. Go figure. I've got to say I've loved having the time with her. However, four months is a long time to not be in a routine and to not have a lot of time to like work. Nap times have been a little bit interesting with Noah because normally she's just a contact napper, but with Willa that's not really possible. So anyways, that's been an adjustment. Not only that, because we've been traveling so much, we have not really spent time at our new house. Moving into our new house is still fairly new and although we've like been in our house for over a month, we've really only stayed like probably a week at our house. So we're just like a huge mess everywhere. We have to put a lot of things away and we're definitely not feeling settled. So to be honest with you guys, we're feeling overwhelmed and we've been questioning our move. I knew, I knew that would come because although it wasn't really shown, we did have moments of questioning when we moved to Germany. There was probably around the two month mark, we were just like overcome with a lot of emotion. I think like the newness of it wore off and there was a moment of struggle for sure. So maybe you're hearing that and being like, but I thought you were doing really well because like if you watch your culture shock video, I was honest and was like, honestly, the adjustment's been excellent, like better than expected. It's been a lot, but it's been really good. And that was true when I recorded that, definitely true. It's been interesting to have it be such a smooth transition at the first to now feeling that way. And I think I figured it out. I think at the beginning, I did a really good job of trying to be social, get us out on activities. Willow was in swimming lessons pretty early on. Um, she started gymnastics and not only that, but we were going to like weekly activities on base and I made it a big priority to make friends for myself, but also friends with parents that have kids Willa's age. And I just really wanted her to have a friend because her German experience was so great because she made so many amazing German friends that I was like, if she can just have like one best friend, I think she'll do amazingly and that's what happened and all of that was really good but once we started moving and really having to make big decisions about our house and then moving in I feel like we just got out of routine and that's when things have just kind of 
felt so overwhelming. You'll see in the next couple of videos that my family at this kind of crazy time has also came to visit us and we've absolutely loved that but I'm not gonna lie and say that it hasn't like added to the craziness of it. It's been really awesome to have them here because they've helped us with our stuff that was here and just, I mean, we've missed them. We loved showing them Japan. Good morning. Our stuff is here. <laughs> what are you most excited about? My bed. Yeah. My dress I knew that was gonna come. <laughs> <laughs> kind of crazy how the timing of everything worked out. So now we're at the point where our family we just said goodbye to, which is always super hard to do. But now I think our life is about to really begin. We're getting really close to the point once everything's put away in our house that we can like tie this move transition up into a bow, hopefully a bow, a pretty bow, <laughs> and wrap it and put it away and be like that stage of life is done with now we're just going to get on to living and just getting into a routine taking better care of ourselves mentally physically and hopefully watching Willa thrive in her new Japanese school and me being able to get into more of a groove with the YouTube work and part-time work and just being a mommy having more one-on-one -on -one time with Noah we're gonna get there I can feel it, we're hopeful. So anyways, that's most of our thoughts. I would say the other thing to mention is just when we got into our house, there was a big shock to the system of the size of our house, especially before our stuff came. When we were in temporary furniture, I just remember feeling like, I do not know what we're gonna do when our stuff comes. Like I am very nervous for it. And although we tried to sell some stuff, like we just, we should have sold more. And our Germany house was just so big that it was hard for me to picture all of our stuff fitting here in Japan. How right are you now feeling? there's gonna be, uh, it feels good that it's all in one spot. <laughs> Sleeping pass. In there. Can't pray. <laughs> this closet's like full mm -hmm. almost already. Right. Ah. But I'm very happy to say now that with the help of my parents and um, still with getting rid of some stuff, our things are fitting and not only just like squished, they're fitting fairly comfortably. So that is a good news and it makes me feel much better. So anyways, that's a little real chat with you guys. I feel like we've just shared so much that I, I find myself just wanting to like talk to you guys and be like, this is how we're doing. Like we love all this travel, but like so many of you guys are so sweet to be like, how are you doing? How's the transition been? And we've done some Q and A's on Instagram and on our Patreon. So if you do want to join our Patreon to get a better fill of conversation like this, that's where it is because um, we do a lot of more just unedited Q and A videos and we chat with a lot of you guys over there. So that, there's that for you, but it just feels nice to share our feelings with you here. <sighs> yeah. We did get a lot of beef for moving from Germany to Japan and here I am saying like, you were right in a lot of aspects. We're still happy with our move. We knew hard times would come. I'm proud of us for doing this still, but we're kind of just in the thick of it right now. As you guys can tell, I'm in my office today doing this during my lunch break, really trying to make the most of all of our time because there just seems like there's so many things that we have to do. And that's one thing that I wanted to touch on because as you move to any new country, there's a lot of things to learn. For one, there's a new language here, but there's also new rules, there's new customs, there's new laws that you have to follow, registration processes. But a few of the things that we have to talk about is like, for one, everyday stuff like recycling, it is on another level. I'm sorry, Germany, but Japan really has taken it to like another level. And I don't mean that as a nag. Germany has an incredible recycling program and we really enjoyed it there. That being said, Japan's is on another level and it does take a lot of time. Even like the last few weeks, we have to daily refer back to the book that highlights what days things go out, when they go out, where you have to take them, how they have to be separated, and it can be kind of a lot. It's starting to feel more like natural, so it's not that big of a deal, but it is something that does take time and energy, and especially when you're dealing with, um, you know, maybe a lack of sleep or a cluttered house. Um, and all of these other things that I'm gonna talk about, it can add up to be a lot of mental load um, and physical in the end. So even for like our parking spot at our house, this is something that was new to us. We had to go and take paperwork to the police station so that they can come and visually inspect the space in front of our house to see if our vehicle can fit. Now fortunately we have a two vehicle parking space and we're only using one of them, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's still 
two, if not three separate trips that you have to make to the police station to get this paperwork approved. It's another one of those things that can just add on that load and that heavy weight of things to do. Um, and it just happens to be quite a bit at the first that it can be kind of overwhelming. And that brings me to my next topic of taxes. As many of you guys know, tax season is in full swing right now, but fortunately, because I'm living abroad, I actually have a two-month extension for filing taxes. Rissa and I are really grateful that we've been working with Bright Tax over the last three years because it has reduced a lot of stress for us. It's investing in less stress when you have a professional in your corner, which is really nice, especially this year because we moved at the end of the year and we were still getting settled in when all of those tax forms were coming out. For the first few years of our marriage, I was really on top of the tax taxes and I would happily take the time to spend hours going through all of the documents. But with all of the changes that we've had to our financial situation over the last few years, which includes multiple online businesses, a rental property back in the States, and if you're like us and the government has helped you move overseas, there are additional documents that you have to be sure to include every year and it can get quite confusing. So that's why I'm excited to tell any American who is living abroad to check out Bright Tax because it has really made a difference for us and our family during the tax preparation season and I'm really looking forward to working with them again this year, investing in less stress, making sure I'm getting all the correct deductions, and more importantly, just making sure that I'm getting filed on time and doing it the right way. So go ahead and click the link down in the description to find out more information how you can file your US taxes while living abroad with Bright Tax. Another thing worth mentioning is that we really love a lot of the conveniences that we have here. I know we've talked about a lot of the changes, but to be quite honest, we've really loved our location of the house. If you watched our house hunting videos, we really debated back and forth between two homes. And looking back, we're really glad that we chose the house that we did for a lot of those conveniences. We can't mention convenience without mentioning convenience stores or the convenience, which I happen to have a very cherished place in my heart for the egg salad sandwiches. You know, the white bread, fluffy egg salad mixture in the middle. I get those at least weekly, and honestly, I think a lot of the reason why I do is because it is so convenient and a quick snack to have. And so having those little conveniences like that is pretty fun and does bring us a little bit of joy. And although the sandwiches are really good, we do have to say that bakeries are definitely not the same. Just today I had three different little like rolls. Uh, one was like a melon bread, one was like a uh, pepper and cheese croissant, and another one was a uh, lemon cinnamon roll. And although the latter two were pretty good, they just... They just weren't the same. That is something that Riss and I would talk about. We're just like, oh, we could just have like a simple loaf of bread or a little bruchin to go with something. It just, it sounds so good. And that's something that we really do miss. And I think it wouldn't be fair to really share kind of an update about like mental health and like how I'm really doing. Because I know Riss and I would get on here and we tend to be pretty positive people. For a lot of our marriage and a lot of our lives, I think we've both been some of the most optimistic people that I know. But I will say that over the last few months, it has been taking a mental and physical toll on us. Um, you name it, like there's just little things that start to build up. So yeah, I think life has been a little bit more difficult the last few months. Coming over here was a high. The first few weeks and months have been you know, really fun to explore and to get to know the country a little bit more, to hear language, to taste all the different foods. But now that like things are settling in, it's been an adjustment. And sometimes that means that like you just feel down about the situation. Like you look back and think, why did we move? We have said before in other posts and other videos like that we know growth is going to come from it. We, we know that we loved our time in Germany and we grew so much and we we're going to take that and have that as a chapter of our lives and make the most of our time here in Japan. And I think turning that page to try and make the most of Japan is gonna be different than what it looks like in Germany. We wanna make it very clear, even though we are having a hard time and we're going through a rough patch, we still love the fact that we're here in Japan and we still loved so many parts of it. Uh, but I think it's important for you guys to see and for us to uh, even express verbally that it is hard. There are moments when we definitely question our decision, but then at the same time, it's also true that we are really excited and looking forward to what is coming ahead. Now that we've shared a little bit of our feelings over the last few months of life here in Japan, I want to say thank you to everyone because truly so many people have been giving us encouraging words and following us even after we've left Germany to see how our life pans out here in Japan. And it really means a lot for people giving recommendations for healthcare, to see doctors, uh, learning the language, really adjusting to life here in Japan. So thank you again for anyone and everyone who has commented and wished us luck in our journey here and we're really looking forward for what the future brings for us. Continue to stay along following our journey here in Japan. Don't forget to hit the notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already 
and we will see you on the next video.